How to tell my children. Preparing children for the death of someone close to them. Certain topics can be really difficult to talk about with your children, especially death. Please stay tuned in to look at the benefits of being honest and the drawbacks of withholding information, such as death, from your children. While parents always want to protect their children from emotional pain and suffering, it can sometimes be really challenging to balance this with the desire to be honest and upfront about harsh realities. A question that therapists get a lot is, when is the right time to tell the kids that a family member will likely die from an illness? While there is never a right time, one thing we know for sure is that children of all ages benefit from being prepared in advance for the death of someone close to them. Let's have a look why being honest to your child is the best way to handle this particular scenario. Number one, it fosters an environment of open and honest communication and teaches them to generally be open and honest. Number two, it leaves less opportunity for children to imagine different or inaccurate explanations. Number three, it enhances the trust between you and them. Number four, it helps your child make sense of the physical changes they see happening to their loved ones, which they often notice but don't understand. Number five, it gives them the chance, when the death of a loved one is imminent, to say goodbye in a way that feels appropriate for them, or to at least be able to interact with the ill person with a shared knowledge that their time together is limited. All of these benefits, in fact, allow your child to mature emotionally while still having your emotional support whenever they need it. Now, let's have a look at what could happen if we withhold crucial information like death from our children. Most children and young people can sense when adults are hiding something, which can cause them to worry more. Besides, children may learn about an impending death by overhearing conversations not intended for their ears, or they might get to know about it from someone outside of the immediate family. That can cause some serious damage to the trust and the bond between the children and adults, in which children might find it difficult to trust their parents in the future. This broken trust may also leave them feeling emotionally frustrated. So this leaves us with the question, when is the right time? With all this information at hand, deciding when to share this heartbreaking news with children still remains a daunting task. Some times are certainly better than others. Dropping them off at school is definitely not one of them. Bear in mind, however, that it rarely feels right to share such information, especially in the case of a dying parent or sibling. Let's have a look at some strategies families can use to help them decide when and how to share this information. Number one, when. Create an environment where children feel safe asking questions. Adults can invite children to ask any questions they have about the illness, even the hard questions. Number two, what they already know. Ask the children to describe what they already know about the situation. Many caregivers are surprised to learn that some children have already considered the likelihood of a loved one dying. Number three, reality check. Reassure children that talking about the likelihood of death does not increase the chances of the death occurring because children often engage in magical thinking, which can make them feel responsible for good or bad outcomes. So providing children with facts and concrete explanations can help them focus on things that are actually within their control, such as how to spend time with this person. Number four, expectations. Knowing what to expect can help ease their worrying about when the person will die. Conclusion, preparing children for a death does not eliminate the heartbreak of the death. It helps children make sense of what is unfolding around them. Being prepared by caring adults for one of life's most difficult situations helps equip children with the emotional tools they need to withstand life's inevitable windstorms. For more videos about parenting tween and teens, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay up to date. 
If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time.